Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Uh, it's Wednesday, and that means we got some news to talk about in this game right now. So, we're gonna go down right here. We're gonna start with the Demon Chimera. Uh, basically, you guys were, were able to fight this guy a long time ago. You guys can still fight him, but he's back uh with a little harder difficulty if you guys can say so so you guys can see right here the fearsome four is in the far plane grow even stronger uh its defense and spirit can be broken since it's uh, susceptible to sleep make sure to use this to your advantage so you guys will be able to sleep him during the fight uh i think if you bring a big damage dealer he's not gonna be that hard but we're gonna see uh, the rewards right here, initial uh, completion reward, get 100 lapis, then you get the force armor plus, which is defense 57, spirit 17, uh, fire, ice, thunder, wind, earth, resist plus 20%, that is really, really, really good, uh, that's a really good armor actually, uh, then you get uh, defeat demon chimera with magic, all star, oh, five, 5 star moogle, so 10% to everything, that's pretty good, uh, party of 4 or less, you get a rare summon ticket. Then every Chimera boost HP and spirit when equipped with a heavy armor. That is really good also. That's going to be really interesting. And here, uh, Zugang, Zurkammer, uh, whatever. I think that's German, but uh, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> I'm not going to take the time to read that one. So right here, you guys can see, you'll be able to fight the Demon Chimera this uh, Thursday, I think, after the, um, after the maintenance. Then... We got a new event, which is basically an old event that is coming back. Destroy the reactor. It's back. Even dungeon. Destroy the reactor. Uh, you'll be able to get rare summon tickets. You guys will have to take those uh, 135th scale soldiers. So you guys can see right here. Elite, you get 500 lapis. Uh, Pro quest, 500. Advanced, 300. Uh, the intro, intermediate actually, 200, sorry. Beginner, you get a rare summon ticket. And it's another King Mog event, which is great, because, you know, even though it's an old event, everybody wants those uh, those tickets, and also those uh, Moogles, everything that you can get from here. Uh, you have the Nail Bat that is coming back. If you guys didn't get the Shinra Beta, get that. That's actually a really good uh, accessory, especially if you're starting the game. Uh, that extra defense and uh, the extra HP is really good on your tank, so let's say you're starting the game and you have a tank. Well, this is actually a really good accessory for your tank. The Nail Bat, a two-handed weapon. This is basically Cloud's weapon. If you guys don't have the uh, big uh, weapon from uh, Conrad, uh, which I, I'm forgetting the name of the sword. But uh, basically that is really good, 115 two-handed weapon. Good, it's coming back. But, because this is coming back, it means that... Cloud is coming back, but before we jump into it, we also have a raid event. So we have a King Mog event, a raid event. So it's gonna we're gonna stay busy for the next two weeks with this game, uh, especially with the raid event. You guys can see right here, Dracu uh, Dracotar Lancer, bam bam bam. Friday starting. So this is bring some old characters that we got. Uh, grave robber, uh, grave robber appears in the dimensional vortex. Um, it basically works the same way all the time, guys. Just go in there, kill the boss, get some points, uh, get some stuff. Right here, you guys can see uh, you're gonna get rewards as you're advancing in the amount of points that you're getting. Uh, the materials we're getting actually Elven Staff, the Elven Staff, sorry, Attack 6, Spirit 64, HP 10%. That's actually really not bad for a staff. Um, I like that. Think of always if you're starting the game or even if you're a long time player, it's still good to have stuff like that. Especially if you don't want to always switch your things from characters to characters. That's actually not bad. Then you get the Yin Yang Charm, which is a throwing weapon. Attack 25, Magic 79. Once again, I'm thinking of just for Veritas of the Light because she is able to dual wield when she's equipped with a gun and a throwing weapon. And since she's doing hybrid damage, well, this is hybrid damage right here, so that's pretty good. And Vestment of Prayers, Defense 21, Spirit 15. Not a bad equipment to get, and you know what? It's all free, so whenever it's free, just take it. Uh, other events, uh, other event limited equipment, sorry. White Bandana, 
Tsukumo doll and uh, kimono vest. Uh, we'll see what these things does when we got more data on all of this. Uh, I like that. You know what? I love, I love raid summons, uh, raid events, and the raid summons. You guys can see right here, Sandy. Ashti Rose, uh, Kupol Khan, Gr uh, Grinfield, Grinfield, sorry, Nialu, Kelsis, and the new one is Ukiyo, which uh, you guys, if you don't have their TM, they're not that bad, they're not that great, but if you're starting the game again, these are good things you guys can get, or you can just sell your raid coins and make all kinds of guild, which is also a good thing to do. Moving on to the next one, as I'm trying to catch my breath because my allergies are killing me this week. Uh, the featured summon. So yes, Cloud is back with Elfrida, William, and Conrad. Uh, Cloud, do I need to talk about him? Yeah, I can talk about him a little bit. He's he's special, all right. He's iconic. Uh, are you guys gonna use him that much? Is there a lot of space for a finisher? It always depends. I like using finishers, especially in raid events, because you can get that big chain going and just hit him smack dead at the end. Uh, if you get Cloud, you're basically getting his Buster style. That's the main reason. It's really, really strong. Uh, that's the only reason that you want him. Also, because he's iconic, but I mean, uh, his Buster style is really strong, especially when you're building a true double end. So that's the main reason. I think people should go for him, but he's also a really cool unit. Uh, there's always place to play around with characters, but uh, that would be the main thing. I still want this guy. I don't have him. Uh, am I gonna go crazy? I don't know. I don't know. I have no more tickets, but thank God the King Mog is giving us tickets, and um, you know we're gonna test our luck. That's for sure. I I want to try to get this guy, and uh, hopefully we will be able to get this guy. Ten ten ten. I can't wait. Uh, so he's back, Elfrida is back too, really really good TM, she's basically, these two they work together, right? Uh, you get Elfrida's TM, the Martial Glove, uh, basically Shin double, uh, True Double N, it boosts your equipment while your sword or whatever uh, attacking weapon you have by 50%, so it boosts the attack of the weapon by 50%. So with the Buster style, you get 100%. If you have two Elfridas, well, you get another 100%. So right now you're at 200% boosting the stats of your weapon. So uh, she's really good for that. Nonetheless, uh, for the other stuff, she's not that great. Uh, I never used her actually in the party. But for her TM, really, really, really good. William, basically a mage chainer, uh, you guys here. The Quake. Uh, basically AOE chain and move like Shantoro and Barbaricha has with the um, Tornado. So basically quick chaining move, then you can finish with Stonga, which is going to be the chain finisher on the move. If you have two of them, you can actually do a lot of damage, which is really good. Uh, are you going to use him often? You never know. It's always good to have some guys up and uh, he's not a bad, bad unit after all. He's actually pretty good. And then we move on to the three star going five star. Conrad, if you get this guy, you're basically just getting this guy for the revolving saw. That's the name of the weapon. It's a attack 130, great sword, two-handed weapon. If you want to max out the damage instead of the nail bat, and you're able to get this, this is gonna be the TM for Cloud to max out his damage as much as possible. So this banner is back. It's not bad actually. It's kind of a dead dead. Um, <clears throat> Not the dead week. Give me a second. I'm just gonna take a sip of water Thank you very much uh, Not a dead week, but it's basically before CG Nicole comes out I think they're just trying to fill up the game a little bit more so people stay inside the game and keep playing it uh, That's what I think but you know what if you don't have cloud if you don't have Elfrida Here's your chance to maybe get cloud or Elfrida in the featured summon then we got one more boss a new quest awaits guys brachiosaur this thing is back uh you probably remember him from snorting your character out of the fight which was really really annoying so like the demon chimera he comes back make sure to keep the spell handy abilities that notify magic spells might also help kupo so that's the thing initial reward 100 lapis 
Mission rewards, alright? So complete the quest, you get the killer bow, which is attack 118 with dark element. Physical damage plus 50% versus bird, plant, insects, and beast. So that thing has killer abilities on it, which is really good, man. 118? I'll take that. Uh, especially if you have a character like Yan, uh, the guy from the bow, the Chinese guy with the bow. Uh, that could do actually a lot of damage, especially with the uh, killer abilities on it. Then, defeat the Brachiosaur with a limit burst, you get a 10% Moogle. Evoke Shiva, you get one ticket. Party of Five or Less, Anti Disaster, Nullify Poison, Poison, Blind Sleep, Silence, Paralysis, and Confusion. These are another good things to get, but this Killer Bowl right here, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking right down to Brachiosaur. You're not gonna stand a chance against my team and against a lot of people's team. Now that's done, we're gonna go in the notices, cause we got some stuff to talk about. Uh, it's right here, we're gonna start with the story continues, chapter 3, part 2 on the second season. So you guys will be able to keep your hands a little bit more busy in this game, cause we're now getting more of the story. And trust me, if you're not there yet, the story on this game is really, really, really good, especially for a free game, technically free game, uh, and a mobile game. The story is amazingly good and uh, you guys should really play it and pay attention to the story instead of just skipping everything because that story is really really good. Then we get three more, uh, two more espers going to three star, Shiva and Ramu. You guys will be able to fight these guys. Uh, Siren's fight was actually really really easy and then you have Ifrit's fight who was so much harder than Siren. Hopefully these two are going to be equally as hard. So uh, that's going to be another good thing. You guys will be also able to get, sorry, in the, uh, the expeditions, we will be able to uh, farm their, um, their crist. Uh, not their, is it their crist? Yeah, their crist, whatever. Those, uh, those stones that they use to level them up a little bit easier. Uh, the megasite, sorry. You will be able to farm their megasite individually. So you'll be able to farm Ifrit and Siren's megasite. And then you can farm Ramu and Shiva's mega site. So you can actually farm both of them at the same time, which is really good. Because they take a lot of mega site to bring up their XP. That's crazy how much mega site it requires. Uh, you guys can see right here, they're saying that you'll be able to get their uh, violet and yellow mega site. So that's pretty cool. Another thing we're looking for fight these guys. We're going to be really busy this week uh, with this game since we have Brachiosaur, Demon Chimera, uh, the story continues, the raid event, we get also the um, King Mog event plus the Esper. So that's going to be sick. We're going to be busy until CG Nickel comes because he's going to be coming real soon, guys. I'm telling you, he's coming out real soon. Then, one more thing. Since Cloud is coming back, they decided to do the step up banner. I feel like, you know what, it works so well with Sephiroth and Lila. They're like, hey, maybe a lot of people didn't get Elfrida. Maybe a lot of people didn't get, didn't get Cloud. So, you know what, let's bring up the step up banner and see how much people we can get into it. Uh, so, it's gonna work the same way. First time you do it, you basically get a 10% Moogle. Uh, second time you do it, you're gonna get William guaranteed. Uh, not guaranteed a rainbow though, so you might get only one yellow crystal and it's gonna be William. The third step of the way, you're guaranteed a 5 star unit. The fourth step, uh, that ticket, you know what, uh, they could have get, they, you know what, they could have gotten something a little bit better. I would have put like, same thing, one, another rainbow guaranteed here, or you know what, anything. Cause this is, this is so cheeky, like this is so cheap, I'm sorry. The, that that five star 10% nah not for me but at the end once you went all the way up to the at the end of the steps you're guaranteed whether cloud or Alfreda and all of this will cost you 25,000 lapis so if you have 25,000 lapis that you want to burn real fast this is the way to go hopefully everybody if you're trying this you'll be lucky enough and get the unit that you want in the first step because i hope for you guys you'll get the first step and the unit that you want or just with tickets or daily summon you'll get the unit that you want so that's it for the news guys this is pretty crazy uh 
there's gonna be a lot of things to do this week that's really cool uh, I'm looking for it for all of them uh, am I gonna try to pull for cloud on Friday maybe you know what I'll think about it and uh, if you guys want me to pull for cloud on Friday or something leave me some uh, some comments down below if you guys want me to do it um, and uh, let's go for you know what maybe 40 likes can we get 40 likes if we get 40 likes I'll think about doing a summon with some lapis for this dude. Nonetheless, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, please, if you're new to the channel and you're still watching this video, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!